The abolition of slavery and slave trade created an acute shortage of cheap labor in the British and French sugar colonies. To make up for this shortage, a system of indentured labor was evolved. To forsake a land, community, loved ones and the familiar for an unknown destination and uncertain future was a choice made by thousands of people from the Bhojpuri-speaking region of India. The compulsions which prompted migrations of people on such a massive scale can only be imagined. Adhi, adhi. In 1793, a single legislation by the British East India Company transformed the way people related to land. The earth, which had hitherto belonged to the people, now became a commodity which could be bought and sold. By the mid-19th century, British land laws resulted in landlessness on an unprecedented scale. Uprooted and torn from the earth, which had once given them succor, millions were forced to migrate in search of alternate livelihoods. Kuli Ghat, now known as Apravasi Ghat, a narrow gate, a dozen steps. Within a hundred years, 450,000 Indians, among others, passed through and up these stairs. Deh chuki chat. टूटती दीवारें दीवारों की अनगिनत दरारें मौन गवाह हैं एक समूचे इतिहास की जिनमें गिरमिटियों की सिसकियां कैद हैं गांव घर से सात समंदर दूर जिन्होंने अपने पसीने के नमक से गन्ने को मिठास दी जिन्होंने अपने खून की गर्मी से पिघलाया अजानी पथरीली जिद को इसलिए कि गांव घर से सात समुंदर पार एक घर हो सके उनका अपना the extent to which the trauma of migration permeates folk consciousness is reflected in the fact that the songs of bards like Bhikari Thakur and Mahendra Misir are sung in temples even today. Most Bhojpuri Vira songs of women are written by men representing women as waiting, pining and carrying the burden of fidelity and chastity. In her gaze or in her smiles, in her laughter or in her songs, a whole life quivers under the shadow of time. A time that has witnessed her cope with stubborn poverty, 41 years of widowhood, loneliness and back-breaking labour in cowsheds and fields of sugarcane. Long ago, Dadi and Mol lost the reverberating voice she once had. To overcome the loss, Dadi began to teach Bhojpuri songs to generations far and detached from the region of Bhojpur, whose culture, Dadi insists, continues to give their life a meaning. Today she sings in a hundred voices. The way things are disappearing, our oral tradition is disappearing, it's fantastic, you know. I mean, tomorrow if you know, want to know what is a Muslim Mehendi song, Mehendi Geet kaise hote hain, kaise gaate thi, to koi nahi gaata ab. But then you have uh, other archive there, you can listen to old women singing festival songs, racial songs, jati ke geet hain, jhumar hain, dhobi ke geet hain, jo yaan khatam ho gaye hain. If we leave only the married songs, most of them have disappeared, all of us disappearing. To sing in pain is sublime. And no one knows this better than Bhojpuriya women. As eternal migrants, they sing the song of separation to reproduce the memory of pain and longing for future generations of women. When we look back to our past, what are we searching? Do we look for our spiritual and cultural roots? Or do we seek a reference point to judge the distance we have traversed? Perhaps the further away we travel from our roots, the greater our desire to know our past and traditions. 
For a country where most share a common Bhojpuri tradition, its historical and cultural past is inseparably linked with its folk music. If this folk music disappears, it will take with it the historical memory and the sense of belonging. Sun 18, 34, Purvazan Hamaru.